Hi, it's Team Padero. And this is our weekly update. We're out here this afternoon at Christmas Hill Park. Uh, it's such a lovely day where uh, we decided to go by Safeway and get a little lunch. I got a salad. Rick got, what did you get, Rick? Got a, a chicken wrap. Chicken wrap. Uh, and I, of course, have my McDonald's iced tea. If you know me at all, you know that I love McDonald's iced tea. But we're out here at the park today, uh, and we want to give you some information this, for this week. Let's see, we're going to hear from Rick first. Uh, you have some information about a mailer we're sending out, right? Right. Yeah. From time to time, we come across some things that we think are interesting and useful, helpful, and we just like to share them with you. And being on our regular list of important folks, we're going to be sending this out. It, in this case, it's a little something about some uh, management of expense and fi financial, how to achieve some tips on how to achieve fin uh, financial freedom. Uh, so look for this uh, soon. We'll be emailing it out to you. And uh, actually, uh, snail mailing this oh, time. Oh, this time, yeah. right. Uh -huh. Beg your pardon. This time it'll go out snail mail. If you like it and you know of somebody else you think might like it, let us know and we'll be sure to include them in the future. And I want to tell you about our weekend plans. This weekend I'll be holding an open house at a rental we have. It's a two bedroom, one bath apartment at 421st Street. And I'll be there both Saturday and Sunday for from 2 to 3.30. Uh, so remember this is a rental. And so if you or anybody you know is interested in um, renting a, an apartment, this will be the thing you'll want to look at this weekend. Come by and see me. And where are you, Rick? Uh, I'm going to be at a lovely little home, cute little home, at 9260 Delta Drive here in Gilroy. Uh, three bedroom, two bath, uh, on a nice size lot. Got some fruit trees and grapevines in the backyard. And what's uh, even more special about this home, it has a complete studio apartment in the garage, complete with a private bath uh, and a private entrance. So lots of potential here, lots of possibilities. If you're interested in seeing this, I'll be there Saturday and Sunday. Once again, that's 9260 Delta Drive, Saturday and Sunday, 1 to 4 o'clock. Thanks, Rick. And then uh, to finish off here for our update, I wanted to remind you that, again, we're in Christmas Hill Park, you can see behind us. And that's the park where in July, coming up right away, that well, it's the end of July, is the uh, Garlic Festival. And at Christmas Hill Park, it sort of transforms into this uh, whole different look for the Garlic Festival. Uh, and one of the things I want to really remind you about is that there are uh, need for volunteers still. So a couple of them that Rick and I know about. Now this is for adults because uh, one of them is for p uh, beer pouring and uh, beer sales at for the Chamber of Commerce. And so you get a four hour shift and you either pour uh, beer or you sell the tickets. Uh, there's lots of jobs to do and they still have about a hundred openings for volunteers. So if you and your friends and family could help out there, they'd really appreciate it. You just have to call the chamber off. Then the other opportunity is the wine tent, right Rick? Right. I'll be there all three days at the wine tent and there are some opportunities to come and help pour wine. It's a great venue. People just have a wonderful time in there. They bring their meals in there, sit on the hay bales or stand at the, uh, the bar tables, uh, enjoy some of the great local wines we have here represented, usually somewhere around 17 to 20 wineries uh, pouring wine here. And if you'd like to be involved in that and have a great time and, uh, and donate to your time to the community and to the Rotary Club, get in touch with us. We'll tell you how you can do that. And then remember those were those two volunteer opportunities are for adults because it's serving beer and serving wine. But there's many other opportunities to help and to serve and to volunteer at the Garlic Festival. And so if you're a local, you should get in on it. And all you have to do to find out about those is to call the Garlic Festival office. They know all kinds of opportunities to volunteer. So we uh, we look forward to the Garlic 
Art Festival and um, we are enjoying our lunch, our spontaneous videotaping lunch out here at the park and uh, you can come and uh, enjoy the park anytime and then enjoy it for the Garlic Festival at the end of July. I think that's about it for this week. What do you think, Rick? Yep, yeah, and so fair warning, you're going to get more of this next week. Our weekly updates will be weekly. Okay, we'll see you around. Take bye care. Bye-bye for now.